to see friends and family. We're glad you're here with us today. Uh, I'm Caleb. This is Rusty, and we want to greet you in the name of Jesus and encourage you and also uh, have some things for you that will help you through this time of coronavirus. And so, Rusty, uh, what are some of the things that you've been thinking through to help our families and friends who are part of the church uh, through this time? Absolutely. So, you know, with, uh, with difficulty often comes opportunity. And so with having either mom or dad at home sometimes, and certainly children at home, and that that creates a lot of stress, but it also creates some opportunities. And let me just read to you uh, Psalm 78, 4. And the context here is is teaching our children. And it says this, We will not hide them from their children, but tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and His might and the wonders that He has done. And so one of the things that we want to encourage you with is to, is to start to have a pattern of family devotionals and family worship in your home. And so we have some resources here at First Prez that are available. They're out at the front desk. You can come by the office and just, just pick them up. We have big stacks of them. Uh, the first is Long Story Short, and this is what we use for years in our family devotional. And it, it goes through the early books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and you read a few uh, passages and some great questions, application questions. It's very easy for the family. This is a personal devotional. If you don't have one, this is Paul David Tripp. It's, it's fantastic. It delves a lot into heart issues. That's there. That's available. This is a new one that we've heard uh, a lot about. It's been out for a while, but we've just started selling it. It's Nancy Guthrie's Dinner Table Devotions. And they're simple, they're good, they're biblical, word-based. So we would encourage you with that. Um, if you don't have a children's catechism, we have those available with some questions. And, and that's simply good theology. You're teaching your children wonderful theology and the scripture that goes along with it. Something else that we've always often done in our home is to read missionary biographies with our kids. The church has a fantastic children's library. And as I was just looking through the library, I began to recognize some of the books that we've read. Jonathan Goforth, who led a great Korean revival at the turn of last century, missionary. It's a great book. Uh, George Mueller, fantastic book on living on faith. Corey Ten Boom is a book that our children still talk about, even though we read it probably five years ago. And here's one that's a little bit bigger, maybe for um, older children, it's Johannes Kepler, a scientist who lived out his faith uh, years ago. Great, great book. We have lots of those type resources. We'd love for you to come by the church and, and just investigate and take advantage of that. So, Rusty, some folks may not have uh, ever done family worship. How would you encourage Folks are just getting started. What are what are things mm -hmm. they can do just to get started? Yeah, yeah. So so one of the things you've got the resource there, and and what we do, our pattern's very very simple. Uh, we we open with prayer. We use the resource that, that we have, reading the scripture, and then we will often sing a song together, um, and then we'll close with prayer. Or often our family will close with what we call Acts prayer. It's adoration, confession. Thanksgiving, supplication. Very, very easy. So adoration is God, you are. And all of our kids will say, God, you are. Confession is, Lord, will you forgive me for? And this has been fantastic because our kids will ask forgiveness for things that have gone on during the week or during the day or conflict that they're having. Thanksgiving is, thank you, Lord, for. And then supplication, we just pray for all the various needs and then we close. So that that's our pattern, and that's that's been very helpful. That's great. That's great. And one of the things uh, you can do is is we're going to send. Actually, we're going to send this out. Uh, just a brief pattern. Uh, and and if you're just starting out, and you feel overwhelmed, just take one or two of those things. Mm -hmm. uh, the main thing is just do something with your family, and then you can have you could have a goal down the line. So thinking big down the line, but starting small. Uh, and just going deep with your family. And so thinking through how, how can we pray together, how can we read the scripture together, and how can we sing together. And so, but we're going to send this out, uh, send an email out with the, just a little brief format, and hopefully that'll be helpful for you. But uh, until next time, we're praying for you guys, and please let us know if there's any way we can help you as a church. Have a good day.